Today's podcast is more of a presentation on a topic I feel like is pretty important. Um, and I feel like it's very much swept under the rug. And as we talk about it, I think you'll see the perspective I'm coming from as a horse rescuer that I am, I'm just kind of disturbed that something is majorly overlooked in this world of horses. And I feel like it's, it's an important it's very important that it's it's looked at because I think it could dramatically change how horses are viewed in the United States. So um, with that being said, uh, let's jump into this. So the history of Americans' horses, like the horses in America, how did they get here? How long have they been here? Um, and And we'll just go from there. So I think we all know the story that we've all been told multiple times, the old story about the horses were brought in the ship. Now, I 100% agree the horses were brought over to North America on ships and all of that. That's very proven. But I think there's something we might be overlooking when we think about horses in North America. Um, and if horses were here before they were brought over on ships to North America, would that change anything? Like, um, horses are looked at as an invasive species and that plays a lot on their welfare. So, um, if you start diving into the world of prehistoric horses, ancient horses, ice age horses, it's very fascinating. And yes, horses were here a long, long time ago. Um, they were they were here during the Ice Age. They are being found up in Alaska. So right there, we know that there were horses here. Um, and there's a lot of really interesting articles um, that are linked in the description of this video that I highly recommend. Uh, one um, person who's really dived deep down the trail of horses um, is Dr. Eric Scott. He He's really an interesting person. He basically is like, okay, I'm going to be studying fossils and all these things. And everyone's studying mam mammoths and tigers and all these, all these creatures. And he's like, well, nobody's really studying the horse. So he did so much study on horses, prehistoric horses, fossil horses. And I highly, highly recommend watching his presentation on YouTube, um, Ice Age Horses of the American West. This is um, something I think everyone should watch if you're curious about the history of horses. And I think it's important to know the history of horses so we can better um relate to them and how they are connected to North America. So <clears throat> if we look at the fossil record, there are tons and tons of fossil horses in North America. The Hagerman fossil beds in Idaho have horse uh, fossilized horses. Um, and it's on the government website, the National Park Service. You can you can look this up. These horses um, are found a lot of horses in this area, kind of at the corner there you can see on the map. And like I said, this is more of a presentation than a podcast. So uh, if you're just listening to it, that's fine. Uh, it'll change some of your thought processes maybe about horses. But I highly recommend watching this because it's, it's got a lot of um, stuff in it. So um, in Idaho, you know, we know there are horses in the Ice Age up in the Yukon. They're finding them, fossilized horses in Idaho. And they found over 200 fossilized horses in Idaho. And all ages, all sexes, like they have a whole herd of fossilized horses that was found in Idaho. So we can pretty much be certain to say that 
horses were here when, um, you know, a long time ago, because they're finding fossil evidence of horses. So they definitely were here in North America. But as we dive deeper into this, I think you'll see some different perspectives of um, maybe they were here all along. That's one thing that Dr. Eric Scott brought out is there's so much that is in the dark about horses and their history in North America because it's just not being studied. And basically, it feels like, you know, okay, horses came off the ships. That's when horses are here. Any other evidence about horses, um, you know, petroglyphs or whatever, well, that's that's, you know, tampered with or that was brought in later because horses weren't here. And I'm coming from a mind of if there are fossilized horses here and there's horses in the Yukon, maybe uh, horses were in North America a lot um, more than we think. And so this is off the web page of um, the park um, service that where they have these 200 horses fossilized and they have this amazing little map and it shows that horses started in North America. That's where their fossil records started. The earliest members of horse family was in North America. So horses are from what I would say, looking at this map, horses are from North America. And then they say that they traveled other parts of the world. So according to science on the fossil side of horses, horses originally were in North America, which is pretty fascinating. So that would seem to me that horses are native to North America. But if you do a Google search, feral horses and burrows are an invasive species to North America. And that's that's the whole reason, like, all the roundups are happening, like, wild horses, according to the Bureau of Land Management, they're an invasive species, they have to be removed. Well, we know that there's fossil evidence of horses being here, and those skeletons look very much the exact same as horses today. So um, we need to look at this whole invasive species, like, why, why are horses an invasive species? Is it just coming off the history of, well, we, they were brought over on the ships and they're, they were brought to North America. But I think we need to um, just keep diving down this a little bit deeper and, and look into some more things I found. And I'm not a scientist. I'm not anything. I'm just a horse lover. Rescued horses for over 20 years. I'm with Horse Plus Humane Society. But it's always like every... Every so often in the news, you see, oh, there's a, a fossilized horse found, you know, in different parts of the United States. Um, we're finding new evidence that maybe horses were here longer. There's just these things that keep bugging me in the fact that maybe horses are native. Like, obviously, they find tons of evidence of them being here. In fact, you know, 200 horses fossilized that's a huge herd of horses but according to wildlife science they are an invasive species and that's why there's so many roundups so let's take a look at the american bison because we all we all know them like they're they've been around for a long time they are um well, let's see they're native to north america so the american bison is native to north america so we need to go back at the bison's history and see um, how that comes along. And so there's ancient bison and bison all through North American history. But they're finding um, fossilized bison, um, ancient bison across North America from Alaska to Mexico. So similar to the horses up in the Yukon. Idaho, throughout the United States, are finding fossilized horses as well. So bison and horses were kind of just hanging out together, it sounds like, from a long time ago. Their bones were found, their fossilized bones were found, 
very similar places. So where there were 200 fossilized horses in Idaho, you know, they also have fossilized bison they're finding. So apparently a long time ago, buffalo and horses or bison, they were all hanging out together. Um, in Alaska, it was found that horses and bison were sharing the same diet. So they're all hanging out together in North America. They're all eating the same things. It kind of sounds like they were all native to North America to me. Um, now I could be, I could be wrong. I'm not a scientist. I'm just coming from a spot of you know, could there be something more to horses in North America? I think it needs to be looked at in depth because I think there's a lot of things that are just being swept under the rug. And a lot of it comes down to, I think they just, they don't want government money. It all comes down to these different factors. Does not want horses to be native to North America. But there's a ton of evidence that they were originally from North America. If they're from North America, along with bison, how are bison native and horses are invasive? So we can look some petroglyphs. And I think this is the oldest storybook that we have for North America is the petroglyphs. And I find petroglyphs very, very fascinating. They go back thousands of years and on petroglyphs and you know you see there there are bison and um these petroglyphs are quite old and you also have um bison and horses together but then they say well no 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 the horses were here probably about this time point in in north america so that's when the horse was added to the petroglyph but the bison were here the whole time the horses weren't they came later how do we know that because they're all on the same storyboard and they are they're right there in multiple multiple petroglyphs across i mean utah has so many petroglyphs and there are horses and bison and all different types of animals so how how can we say that they weren't they weren't here all together i mean if there were bison and horses at the same time you know ice age time and you fast forward and there's still bison and there could have been horses like none of us were there we don't know um but there is rocks that have petroglyphs on them with horses and bison And, you know, it's very much, well, you know, dating um, with petroglyphs is it's it's when the Spanish brought the horses and that's when horses started getting added to the petroglyphs. Could be. Uh, There's not a lot of science looking into it, it seems like, because there's more and more things that start coming forward that maybe horses were here prior to the Spanish bringing them. Like it's. It's worth researching. I wish somebody would really dive into this and do some really deep studies because it seems like if you have buffalo and you have bison, you have these bison and the horses and there's historic record of them being native to North America. At what point did horses become an invasive species or is it easier to say they are an invasive species so they could just be wiped out and not protected? And if you start doing research, you'll see that, you know, they're finding that, you know, maybe these horses were here earlier than thought from petroglyphs. And again, you can find links to these articles in the description of this video. And so I started going along and was like, okay, so if they're saying if horses came in at this point, what about some of these different historical Uh, places in the United States at Chaco Culture National Historical Park there's a petroglyph of a horse and someone riding this horse and if you do the age of how old they think it is to 1250 
see. So this is this is a very, very long time ago. So this horse does not fit into the time frame that they they believe horses were native, like they were brought in with ships and stuff. So I just think it's very possible that bison, American buffalo, and horses were all here together. And I think, you know, as I'm researching this stuff, and I've researched this stuff for years, this isn't anything new. It's just the first time I'm talking about it publicly. It seems like, like they'll have different, you know, like, oh, there's a horse here and with all the petroglyphs. And then they're fine putting a date on it like here, but then they're like, oh, wait, wait, horses didn't come to North America until this date, which there's actually fossil evidence. So we know they were here a long, long time before then. But we we need to make sure that horses weren't in the timeline is, I don't know, maybe I'm majorly missing something, but it just seems like there's so much potential evidence that horses were here all along, just like the buffalo. And they were all hanging up together eating at one point up in Alaska, scientists have discovered. So who's to say they weren't all still hanging together for thousands of years in North America? And the petroglyphs show horses. How do we know that it wasn't, you know, like they're like, oh, these petroglyphs were 3,000 years ago, but oh, this one has a horse, so it's not that old. How do, how do we know? Are we just going off of, you know, horses came off these ships and that's the only way? Like, I don't know. It just seems like there's some big missing gaps here. And like this petroglyph, this looks pretty old to me. I'm not a petroglyph expert, but, you know, here you have somebody leading a horse and this looks like a very old styled petroglyph. How do we know that, um, you know, this is more recent? Because it has a horse. And, you know, there's another horse here. Um, in other parts of the world, um, you know, there's petroglyphs with horses. And they're like, oh, this was 3,000 years ago. Why in the United States can't we be like, these were thousands of years ago? I mean, they could be. We don't know. It just seems, you know, so like this is in the other side of the world. But like <clears throat> this one is, you know, years and years and years and years ago. And everyone accepts it. And it's a story in the rock. But then you come to, say, Utah, and you have very old looking petroglyphs. And it's like, well, those have horses in it. So that's not reality. When horses are actually from North America, the historical evidence shows that. And it just seems interesting. I don't know. And you have so many different evidence of horses in petroglyphs and you also have bison and horses and it just seems like to me that maybe the thought process that we have of like oh horses are really recent and they were brought into the united states maybe maybe they've been here all along and we just don't want to see it and it comes back to this this horse petroglyph at this very old historical park. Horses could have been here the whole time. And I could be completely wrong, but I think it's worth pondering. I think it's worth looking into. And I think there needs to be a lot more studies on it. Because if horses are actually native, just like buffalo are, there needs to be protection for them. And I think that's one of the reasons that nobody wants to connect that. Well, let's see, there's tons of fossil evidence of horses in North America. And there's maps on the government's website showing that horses were from North America and went to different places in the world. Uh, it just seems like horses could have been in North America all along. And that's just a a different perspective on it and maybe I didn't need to do a whole lot more research on this <clears throat> and I'll come back and be like nope I was wrong um 
I studied out more, talked to more people, and clearly horses were not in North America. They were at one point because they're fossilized here and there's herds of fossilized horses, but they they vanished from North America and they were brought in years ago off, off of ships. But I think they were brought in off of ships, but they might have already had horses here. Because it's really hard to say exactly um, what it is. And this is just a theory. It is completely just a theory. But if horses were here in North America, they are definitely native. And if they're native to North America, they should be protected. And I don't exactly know why when I look at these maps and you see horses, you know, from North America and they started in North America, they headed across the world, but somehow they're not native to North America now. Um, I don't know. I love horses and maybe I'm just looking at this from an angle of like, how can we get them protected? But if they're here thousands of years ago with the the buffalo and and they're eating the same thing and scientists are saying that i think scientists at some point will catch up and be like wait a minute horses were here and it seems like there's an awful lot of documentation from people that were here a very long time ago who were carving horses into rocks in north america and i'm Pretty sure they did that because they probably had horses. So um, just just a a little bit of um, thought processes that go around in my head. And I think that there's a lot more study that needs to happen. But if it was proven that horses were here and they are not an invasive species, they are a native species to North America. There's a lot that needs to change because there are thousands and thousands of horses that are being exported and slaughtered and their history needs to be looked into very deeply because it is, it's, there's evidence that they were here in North America a long time ago. So how is it they're an invasive species? So that's my uh, <clears throat> little, uh, two cents for y'all this week. And I hope you've enjoyed this uh, presentation podcast. And I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. So please comment and um, let me know what you think. And again, I am just sharing some of my thoughts from, you know, all the years of, of rescue and, and seeing different news articles pop up over the years of, oh, there was a a horse found, you know, in Idaho, there's a horse found here is, you know, fossilized horses in North America. And on the government website, it says they started in North America. So how are how are horses an invasive species? I don't know. I would love to hear your thoughts. And uh, thanks for listening.